All right, good day, everybody. If you're like the typical candidate, uh, you probably have no idea as far as what the statistics are for the selection boards, what they're looking for. Uh, and I kind of looked around. There's nothing really out there that describes exactly what the selection board's uh, looking for, broken down by component, by category, by female, males, and whatnot. So I decided to put together a quick video that goes off of the OCC 231 class, the selection board, the results. I'm explaining what this board is. Uh, so you can follow, but it, any board from here on out for the remainder of the fiscal year, which which is the January class and the summer class, you can expect almost similar results because the Marine Corps gives out kind of new missions each fiscal year. So again, these results should mirror what you're looking at for the January and the summer class. So kind of get to the board is for the 231 class. There were total 199 individuals considered for the board. Keep this in mind, I'm just going over the Western Recruiting Region. This is about half of the entire country. But again, Western Recruiting Region, Eastern Recruiting Region, kind of mirrors. So take the numbers, there might be a, a, a give or take of one or two candidates. 198 considered, four, uh, not selected were 43, and 155 were selected to attend Officer Candidate School. So again, not, not too bad there. We're going to break down into specific categories. I put diversity here. Uh, so there's always been this conversation among, ca among candidates that maybe if you're Hispanic, maybe if you're African American, uh, Asian, you have a better chance to get selected at officer candidate school. So let me explain how that works. As an officer selection officer, we all have our missions where we have to submit specific uh, uh, ethnic backgrounds, uh, such as African American, Hispanic, uh, or Asian or whatnot. That is part of the mission. However, for the selection board, they do not brief that. So your chances of going to OCS, if you're a specific uh, ethnicity, if, if you think your chances improve, that's not true. They compare you based upon the facts I'm going to talk about now. But however, each also is required to submit a certain amount so that there's a more diverse pool to pull from. So I just wanted to clear that out. So again, any... any uh, idea or, or any myth out there that that being of diverse helps you get selected that's not true uh, so I just, that's why I put that out there so again it's kind of going off of it well let me kind of go to this overall selection rate for the entire board is 78 percent 78 percent of the individuals that are considered for the board were selected it's a little deceitful uh, and I'll explain why because there's one category that's that brings up the rest of them that's pretty high. We're looking at ground. Ground, and I'm gonna show you how to read this chart here real quick. Ground, SUBM is submissions. There were 118 names submitted for the ground component. Pre-select means that there were 15 names already selected for that. So that takes away from the 118. So you're looking at the board really needing 103 candidates. Uh, once all of that was decided, they selected 60, 66.1% 60, of ground applicants that were in there, which includes females and, and males. Air, air, there were 35 submissions. Four were pre-selected, which means that they needed 31. Uh, and just going off of the air, they needed to select 21. So that gives you a selection of 48% 40, uh, for the air component. So you're looking about a little bit under half of the applicants were selected for the air. And again, what throws it off is the pre-ships that were selected either from previous boards or, or something like that. Now, law, there were six submitted. One was already selected, and they needed to select a total of four. So they needed three out of the six, which gives you that 50% selection rate. Reservists. 46 was the how many were submitted to the board. Four were pre-selected, which means they needed 42. And there was a ship cap of 43, so they needed a total of 43. Four were selected, uh, gives you a 84% selection rate for reserves. So again, the hot ticket right now in the Marine Corps is reserves. The Marine Corps needs reservists. That's why it's, it's a higher selection rate. Uh, and I always tell the applicants, if you, it's a must that you get out of here, you're not too confident in your PFT, GPA, and all that, go reserves, you'll probably get out the door uh, if you can meet some of the, I guess, lower averages 
uh, here. So if your product is to get out, go reserves. So again, these are the percentages of what was selected off of the last board. To the left of that is the category. And just going off of me, males and females, 69% of the males were selected. Females was a little bit tougher, 37 submitted. Six were pre-selected. They needed 31 for a total of, of uh, well, there were 31 considered. Uh, either way, 57% that they, that they were selected. So again, a little bit better than half uh, for females and males was, was at 69%. Now, to go over statistics as to what the average candidate look, uh, looked like, if you will. Uh, I, I know it's always, if you need the 300 PAT, yes, 300 PAT, and I've mentioned this in another video, PAT is king, it's always going to rule. Uh, but you don't need to be that 4.0 the uh, GPA guy or girl. The average stats is for those that were selected and not selected. It's just all the applicants, all of these that were considered 198, these are the average stats. SATs 1153, PFT 269, GPA 3 about 3.0, 3.06, and I put ASVAB uh, was the 81 in, in case you did the ASVAB route. These are the stats for the selected ones. The big one here, the big takeaway here is, is the PFT score. This is the average. The average PFT for those that were selected was a 275. For those that were not selected, is a 253. That is the difference between the selected guys, the non-selected guys, uh, and girls in, in this program. Again, this is not going to change much. January class is not going to change much for the summer class. Uh, just wanted to break it down again. What your chances are of selection uh, on, on each by each category. Again, reserve is it's it is the least competitive. Uh, they're looking for a lot of reservists now. The Marine Corps. Uh, and why not? We talked a little bit about diversity and 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 why not? So November's the next uh, selection board. Got to get ready. Got to crush these stats. You know, there's always a saying in either boxing or MMA is don't leave it to the judges. Don't leave it to. So again, good luck to everybody, uh, and I hope to see your name on the next selection board list. Thanks.